Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 12th of October 2015. And starting off on Friday's uh, pre-market session, the market actually uh, showed uh, a range of around uh, 100 points. Didn't think it had moved too much, but as I said in uh, that alert, as soon as I say don't go into the market in the pre-market session, the market has a nice uh, trend there. There's nothing to stop you actually trading it. Like I said before, you've got to be slightly cautious at the moment because we don't have the levels of volatility which you'll see as we conclude the uh, market alert um, why. But uh, again, nice moves down, move back up during the Friday pre-market session there. You can either reduce the bet per point so that it's negligible if you can't resist being in. Uh, other than that, uh, just paper trade it because it is a bit of a, a long drawn out process, even though the market did actually move up 50 points. It took several hours for the market to do this, which is why um, at the moment it's just, you know standing aside unless there's something to, to move the market. Now, the afternoon session, uh, again, just a 50 point range, which is why I sent the email out to say, look, forget the evening session because we had uh, 20 points down. And a lot of people keep saying, how do you know that the market isn't going to go any further than the t the sort of the uh, 20 points on the trade or continue to move lower? And that's because of these lines. If the market drives through these lines, either up or down with increased volume, then the market will generally continue down to the next one or up to the next one. So when you get these low volume bars, just the, the straightforward black bars and the market uh, stopping, then you know you might as well collect the profits because it's highly unlikely the market's going to move anymore, particularly on a Friday as well as it can be a fairly quiet day. So there's uh, more than 20 points to the downside there and the same to there. And then the market then trades back down to this line again here. And that's again why I sent the email out after 60, 70 points of profit. Then uh, it was a case of standing aside for the rest of the day. And you can see through the quiet period there these are not valid signals because of uh, the market being in that quiet time plus i also sent out uh, the note to say stay out for the remainder of the evening you can see the market did manage to move back up there but then still run out of steam before trading back to the 17,100 area there in the pre-market session again same picture as friday fairly quiet we've not even got 50 point range at the moment this could get a bit more lively between uh, 8, which seems to be the time this kicks off now. It used to be 6-ish, uh, but at the moment it's gone towards 8 o'clock, waiting for the European markets and the last hour of the Chinese trading. And then uh, after 10 p.m. the market, whatever trend it's got, it tends to uh, stay with that. So fairly quiet at the moment. It's not There's not enough volatility in this at the moment to trade it. It's uh, too quiet. In the daily charts, uh, the market heading up to that 17,352. I believe the market is going to continue to levitate and move back up at the moment. There is absolutely no buying in this market. You can see this here. This is just the high frequency trading. The market's being brought back up on the purpose to show that this flash crash that we had on the 24th of August was nothing more than a correction and that the market intends to go on to the all time highs, which is here at 18,152. So 17,352, it's not that far away given the sort of moves we've had, but uh, be careful, any upside move is on low volume. But like I say, I would expect this to continue in the short term. And if uh, Yellen and Co go for QE4, then definitely uh, we're heading back to the all-time highs, but it will be sort of the last sort of injection of heroin for the patient, as it were. So uh, upside to me is uh, the direction at the moment. You see how narrow Friday's trading range was. So uh, again, we need something to shift the market and move it back to the upside. Now, today we've got um, a bank holiday in America according to this but they're still wheeling out all of the central bankers again this is a new pattern that's evolved this never used to happen not in 20 years of trading they're wheeling out uh, the FOMC members to uh, speak I just want to clarify that we have got trading today but it says bank holiday there from uh, for um, uh, the US so let me just go and qualify which one this is 
Yeah, the US markets are open today. It's just a government holiday today, but all US markets will be traded as normal. It's Columbus Day for uh, the US, and that's why uh, they're wheeling out these boys, no doubt, just to uh, give the market a bit of a boost. And uh, finally, in the uh, implied volatility, 1464, you can see this is dropping sharply, and this is great news, this is, because that means that the market's free to move to the upside. And also, uh, once uh, these get back into the lows, both the blue and the yellow line, back down to this sort of level here, then we can expect another major correction in this market, which uh, also is uh, good news as well. So uh, we've got another big move coming shortly in this market. The Shanghai market is up uh, 3.61, 115 points. Uh, this has been moving uh, to the upside, not had a down day since they returned on uh, Thursday last. So uh, an interesting picture there as well. So uh, the markets, um, just a, a summary really, the market should continue to move higher. Of course you get down days in between, but at the moment it looks like the market's heading back to the 17,352. And uh, also the pre-market session is fairly quiet. And uh, again, just to remind you, this market is uh, moving up on uh, on fresh air there in the the volume there so very low volume in this market no genuine buying it's just uh, being as I say uh, marked up to the upside right that's it from me I will see you in tomorrow's edition as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one